All right, so what is atmospheric pressure? Well, it's defined as the pressure exerted by the atoms and molecules of Earth's atmosphere. Now, the actual value, the number, the numerical value of atmospheric pressure can vary depending on things like location, whether you're at sea level or above sea level, or temperature, and even weather conditions. So how is atmospheric pressure measured? Well, it's measured with an instrument called a barometer. And you can see here, it's just a simple instrument. I've got this glass tube here. And inside of this glass tube, I have mercury. Now, I very carefully invert this glass tube with mercury into a mercury pool here so that air cannot get inside. And so as the mercury falls down the glass tube, it creates a little vacuum here. Now, due to atmospheric pressure, the force of the atmosphere on the surface of this of this mercury pool, well, it's going to have some push on this mercury. And the push here from the atmosphere is going to keep the mercury in this glass tube from falling all the way down. So standard atmospheric pressure is what we call 1 atm or 760 millimeters of mercury, which is what we would have here, assuming that this is under standard conditions. And those standard conditions are 0 degrees Celsius and sea level. Now, pressure can be expressed uh, with a variety of different units. And this slide here just presents different units in which you can uh, express uh, pressure. Now, how do you know which units are appropriate? Well, it just depends usually on the field that you're in. In chemistry, typically we use atmospheres. But, of course, if you're a meteorologist, for example, uh, or in the medical field, you would use things like millimeters of mercury.